You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Latrell versus Leakes. Thank you so much, Jerome. You're Good welcome. day, everyone. Ms. Luttrell, you filed your case because you say after a lifetime of confusion of not knowing who your biological father is and receiving no help from your mother, you are now hopeful because you believe you have finally found your dad. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Melody Luttrell, you say you are regretful that you cannot help your daughter in her search for her father, but hope that search ends today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. You will present your case to this court and we will determine if there is enough viable evidence to grant a DNA test. So, Ms. Luttrell, why do you need this DNA test? I'm pleading with you, Your Honor, for this DNA test because I basically was robbed of a relationship with my father my whole life for 29 years. And, I mean, Ms. Luttrell, you believe you finally found your biological father? Yes, I believe that I found him because I did a DNA test through Ancestry.com. And you have never met him? No, I've never met him in person, face to face. All right. Are you ready to see him for the first time? Yes. <laughs> I'm really excited. I really would like to see him. Jerome, will you please escort Mr. Leakes into sure. the courtroom? Hello, Mr. Leakes. Can I have you go up here on the left-hand side there? Sure. Hello, Mr. Leakes. Hello, Judge. Thank you for joining us. I saw you all connect <laughs> through a gaze. Yes. How does it feel to finally meet and see the woman who believes she's your daughter? It feels good. It's good to see her. That's wonderful. So can you tell me about your childhood, Ms. Luttrell? My childhood uh, was pretty rough growing up with uh, my mom being a single mom. She's a very hardworking single mom. And my whole life, I always wanted to know who my father was. So as a What young... were you told about your father? As a young child, at around eight years old, I was told that um, my father had went to the store and apparently was to buy cigarettes and he never came back. So that was the first story that my mother told me. And then when I was 13 years old, she told me that basically she didn't really want my father in my life. And so I was really confused and I asked her again, you know, as an adult, I figured, hey, you know, she'll probably tell me the truth. So I asked her about my father and she told me that basically, you know, sorry, daughter, I just really don't know. It was so long ago and I can't remember. Ms. Luttrell, why so many stories? I really didn't know, but I was concerned, and I tried to give her the best answers I could. Understood. So you actually submitted an exhibit to the court. You say there are three possible fathers, one of which was a co-worker. Yes. Can you tell me about the co-worker? Well, yes, we uh, dated, and uh, we got familiar with each other, and then uh, it ended up in intimacy. Did you ever tell that person you were pregnant? I didn't know how to contact them, and I had moved as well. All right. You also say that there was a classmate. Can you tell me about your relationship with the classmate? We got to know each other in class and then went out, and it had ended up also in intimacy. When you found out you were pregnant, did you reach out to that person? Did you know how to reach him? It was the same. It was the same as the other man that I didn't really um, know how to contact him. You were having sex with all these men, and you weren't. You didn't even get their phone number or know their full name or where they're from. Well, they were like short relationships, so I didn't know really where they were. But were they like relationships? That. You don't know their names or their phone numbers. What happened with Mr. Leakes? Oh, I, um, there was a, there, it was a party that had, uh, occurred in my neighborhood, and I got to know, uh, somebody, I don't know if it's him, but somebody that, um, could be her father at that party. Do you know this man? I don't know him. I don't know, uh, I don't know him, 
I just, when she brought him up, I just said, well, he looks familiar. So, Ms. Luttrell, what did your mother tell you about Mr. Leakes? My mom told me that uh, she was with uh, an African-American. And so, how did you connect with him through his family? Through Ancestry.com. I directly messaged um, a family member who was my cousin, says I'm, he was my cousin. Um, and then his wife actually was the one who made his profile. So I was talking directly mostly with his wife. And then I also talked to him as well. And they came to the conclusion that possibly Lelix could be my father in the family. Ah! And I told them that my whole life I've been looking for my father and I found that our DNA matched on Ancestry.com. So I wanted to reach out to them and see possibly if they could help me figure out who would be my father in the family. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You submitted that original message to the court. It reads, Hi, I'm in search for family members on my black side. I have never met my father or anyone in his family. I was reaching out to you in hopes of getting to know you and getting info connecting to my father and close relatives. Mm -hmm. So how did they connect you to Mr. Leakes? They gave me his phone number as well as um, his name. And so I was able to look at his Facebook and I requested him as a friend. And I also seen pictures of his children and particularly his daughter. I noticed that she looked a lot like me when I was little. It was, it was actually like seeing a ghost. So did he fit? the description of someone your mom had described? No, well, my mom, like I said, the three stories that I gave you was all that she, information she gave me. But when I talked to her about like the age range as well, like at the time he would have been, I think 19 and she was 35, she said it is possible because she remembers going to the party like she had stated, and he was younger. Oh, she remembered sleeping with a young guy at this party. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Leakes, you are 15 years younger than Ms. Luttrell. Mm -hmm. Do you remember this party and this one-night stand? No, I'm just looking at it right now, thinking, okay, it's uh, nice to meet you, but, uh, oh. you know, uh, <laughs> very nice to meet you. And, um, no, I was not at that party. Were you ever at a party <clears throat> having sex with an older woman? No. You know, if I'm having a child or anything like that, if I even know there's a chance I'll have a child, I'm sticking around. I'm not going anywhere. Well, Ms. Luttrell has testified <laughs> that this seemed like a one-night stand and then she didn't let anybody know. No, I don't do that. That's not my get down. So, Ms. Luttrell submitted a younger photo of herself. Does that look more familiar to you? No. So you don't remember her from a party? You don't remember her? No. I will say this, if I could just share this with you. Yes. Can you hand it? What is this evidence, sir? This is a picture of her right next to my mom. They're side by side on here. Okay, let me see that. And they look so much alike. She's related to us somehow, some way. So this is a picture of Ms. Luttrell. And my mom. And your mom. And you believe they look so similar that somehow she's related to your family. Somehow. That's too many similarities in that. So can you take me to the day you were first contacted by Ms. Luttrell? We, we had long conversations, and it's just her nature. For one, I can't see myself doing that. You know, somebody that much older than me you know, 15 years older than me, and I was dating them when I was 18. I would remember that. You know, that's... So, the... you really don't remember her? I've never met her before in my but life. But then... I'm here for the clo to close this up and have her feeling more secure about her future. Oh. And she deserves a father figure or a father, you know, to be there for her, whichever way it may be. But what's even more interesting is this court uncovered where both of you would have been living during the window of conception. And 
the truth is you all didn't live too far away from one another at that time. Wow. You were in Sacramento, Mr. Leakes, mm -hmm. and Ms. Luttrell, you were as well about 14 minutes away from one another. Mm. So, I mean, it wouldn't be inconceivable to think you could have been at the same party. I, I wasn't at no party. <laughs> if I was partying that good, I, that must have been a good party. And I mean... Your Honor? And, yes, ma'am. Um, when I contacted his family members, they told me that, you know, <clears throat> he had pretty... He was having wild... Like, he had a wild history before, so maybe he was partying, and that's why he, they really thought it's a possibility that he was my father. So when you connected with his family, they basically said he, he had some wild years and that it wasn't inconceivable that he could be your biological father. Yes, Your Honor. That's why today I'm begging you, I'm pleading for this DNA test because we have a really strong connection as well over the phone. We... I've felt like his daughter just talking with him and as well as the other similarities with me being, you know, a musician. He told me that his mother was a singer. So I really, truly believe that this is a big possibility that he's my father. So I'm pleading you for this DNA test, please. You know, this case is very interesting. What strikes me is that when you walked into the courtroom, Mr. Leakes, you were satisfied with the possibility that she could potentially be your daughter, which says to me that at some point, 29, 30 years ago, you were having some sex with somebody. Mm -hmm. And then there are family members of yours saying that it is not so far-fetched that he could be your father. And then you saying, well, if I'm not her biological father, somebody in my family is because she looks just like my mother to me. Yeah. This is crazy. Exactly. <laughs> That's my life. <laughs> and, and, and I don't mean that. That's not a legal term. I... That's just wow. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that said, I, I, I listened to your testimony, Ms. Luttrell, and I do believe that there has been sufficient evidence presented to warrant this court granting the DNA testing. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. I need, I need this closure, um, even just to move on, you know, emotionally, to be healthy emotionally, as well as for my son, so he knows who his grandfather is. Um... And the truth <laughs> is, if you are not granted this test, you're going to forever think and wonder. Exactly. Whether there's... Right. Was there just one step missed? Am I connected to this family? There are just so many questions. And I may not be able to answer every question, but the paternity question, this court has the ability to answer. And we will do that for you. It is ordered that both of you are to submit to DNA testing, and we will resume this case at a later date, and I will have those answers for you. Thank you okay. so much, Your Honor. Thank you. Court is adjourned. <laughs> Since our last hearing, have you had any other thoughts, concerns? I'm just so confused on whether he's my father or not, but I really um, hope and pray that he is. So my search is over. This is not just a paternity question. This is a paternity mystery. This has been truly a fascinating case. I have the results. And if you're ready, Ms. Luttrell, I will read them to you. Yes, I'm ready. All right. Jerome, may I have the envelope, please? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Luttrell versus Leakes, when it comes to 29-year-old Erica Luttrell, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Leakes, you are not the father. I'm very sorry, Ms. Luttrell. I just, uh, you know, I just really, first of all, I want to say I really appreciate that Lee came today and he was here because I just, 
popped up out of the blue in his life. And um, our relationship, we already have a relationship as a family. We've created a relationship over eight months. So um, definitely want to continue that. And um, yeah. hopefully we can find out together who's my father in the family. I want you to talk to Dr. Jeff and really be honest about your feelings. I feel like you're holding on to a lot and you're carrying the burden of this by yourself and you feel like you are. Excuse me. No, she's not. I'll be And I would just encourage you, if you've gotten information back from Ancestry that there is some relation to this family, then this mystery is just waiting to be solved. I wish you all the very best. Court is adjourned. Thank you.